Welcome to The Rich Report, a podcast with news and information on the world of big data. Today, my guest is from Pentaho. We have the chief tech evangelist for the company, Ian Fife. Welcome to the show today. Okay. Hi, I'm glad to be here. Thanks for inviting me. Okay, Ian. Well, hey, I, I brought your slides up. Why don't we start there and we'll follow it with the Q&A. Okay, great. All right. I'm ready to go. So, uh, We'll be talking today about Pantaro Big Data Analytics and how that is the fastest path from value with big data. So I'm going to first of all start with more of a uh, company and product overview. Uh, first of all, a little bit about Pantaho, in case you're not familiar with us. Um, we've been around for a few years, and really we have three three main parts to our, 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 our business. Uh, the first is a full business analytics and data integration platform. So end-to-end for getting data in, processing that data, and being analytics on top of that data. Second is our big data analytics business, which is obviously what I'm going to be talking about today. Um, and then the third is embeddable cloud-ready analytics. This is mostly relevant to other software companies who are embedding our technology. So we provide this modern, you know, unified, complete data integration and business intelligence platform, which really works for all three of those, uh, these, those uh, uh, parts of the business I talked about. We are an open source. We have an open source development model, and this is great because it enables very, very fast um, in innovation uh, through the community. And then, obviously, we, we make contributions back to the community as well. Um, and we have about a thousand customers, right? Um, and about ten thousand worldwide deployments based on heartbeats in the product. Get about a download of our product every thirty seconds. So, really, really broad uh, adoption and uh, usage around the world. So moving on to more, more focus on the big data, again, you know, Pentel being the fastest path to big data value. And what we see typically with, with customers is we can reduce the time it takes to both design, develop, and then deploy your big data analytics solution by as much as 15 times, but let's just say yeah, an order of magnitude plus. Um, and the reason we can do that is really four main parts to it. The first one is the easy to use based on development tools we provide. Uh, the second one is the way we simplify the end-to-end -end process, the, the entire process, which I'll talk more about in a moment, of doing big data anal analytics. The third is, again, the, 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 complete, the fact that we provide a complete platform um, for, uh, for everything from data loading to the visualization. And then the fourth is the fact that we provide very, very, very fast performance, and particularly on Hadoop, our ability to run inside of the Hadoop platform. And I'll talk more about that later on in the presentation. Then also we make it very, very easy to iterate around that. So you can, you know, start designing, you can deploy to your end users, very, very easy to then modify that and kind of iterate. Uh, and part of that is because this is a completely integrated, unified platform from end to end. So moving to, to the next slide, um, this is looking at the, the, uh, the approach for doing big data analytics. You know, to, to do big data analytics, there's no uh, magic here. You've got to, you know, load and ingest the data, whether that's coming from web logs, application logs, from automated sensors, from uh, e-commerce applications, wherever that big data source is coming from, ultimately you need to load and ingest that data, whether it's into Hadoop, whether it's into a NoSQL database like a MongoDB or a Cassandra or an HBase. And then typically you've got to do some uh, pre-processing on that data, particularly if it's uh, unstructured or semi-structured data, so you're manipulating, transforming that data making it, putting it into a format that's accessible, whether that's, again, inside a Hadoop, um, in the Hadoop file system, or possibly even taking some of that data, moving it into a warehouse or a data mart, you know, for very high performance, uh, low latency uh, anal analytics. You ought to do some modeling on that data, um, define the, the different business dimensions, the different uh, measures you want to you want to analyze and so on. And then finally, you get to the point where your end users can start to visualize and analyze that data and perhaps even some of them, maybe the more advanced users doing uh, predictive analytics, you know, forecasting the future based on what's happened in the past. And then ultimately you get to the point where people, you know, based on that information, they're making decisions. And then you've got to go around that loop again. Now, using this is a, a complex and a lengthy process, typically taking, you know, weeks. And in this particular slide, I've got the example, you know, taking 30 plus days, um, you know, obviously depending on the size of the project, that could be longer, it could be shorter. But at a minimum, you're typically talking several weeks, even you know, several months. And part of the reason it, it, for that is if you look at the, the approaches you know, people are taking, particularly for developers who tend to be using big data technology today, they're really trying to code every step of that, you know, from ingesting the data. Even we, we see developers trying to you know, write uh, handwritten code to do reporting and, and analysis. When you look at 
IT, corporate IT, you know, they've, they've done things using some tools, some BI tools, some ETL tools, some data mining tools to be predictive and so on. But if you look at those those upfront steps um, around loading and ingesting the data and manipulating and transforming that data, again, you'll see people writing code, you know, particularly when it comes to these newer platforms like Hadoop and like NoSQL databases. These are not SQL-based platforms. So all of the all of the traditional SQL-based tools that IT have, have had for the last 20 years, they just don't work with those new platforms. So they're kind of forced to, to find MapReduce programmers, for example, if you understand how to write code for, for Hadoop and so on. So it's kind of a painful process. They're very hard to find those people. They're very expensive. And this is what, one of the reasons why big data analytics you know, until now has been pretty pretty time-consuming um, and, and, and complex uh, for companies to, to embrace and to deploy. This is where, you know, obviously Pentai is going to, has really made a big breakthrough. So if you take that, moving to the next slide, if you take that, that end-to-end process I just went through and you kind of lay it out, out onto a matrix looking at the, how that maps to different skill requirements, again, you know, at a minimum, those, those two first steps are about loading and ingesting the data and manipulating and processing the data. You need developers, you need programmers. And that's a for IT departments trying to find these people hire them, retain them. There's not that many people out there who, who understand how to write to the Hadoop APIs and write to the different NoSQL database APIs and so on. And if I, I build the slide, um, you know, you'll see this is where Pentaro can make a huge difference. So represented by that dark green rectangle, you know, that's really that's saying only two things. One is um, you'll notice you don't you don't need to be a programmer. This is something that IT can do. And the reason for that, and you'll see it later on in the presentation, is through our visual development interfaces. If you can use an ETL tool, a data integration tool, you can now develop with, with Hadoop or with a NoSQL database. You do not need to be a programmer. You don't need to write a single line of code. And then the second thing represented by that rectangle is a great acceleration. You know, instead of uh, weeks and months, you're going for hours or, or at most a day or two you know, to do that complete end-to-end -end process. So uh, just a dramatic um, acceleration in productivity. And you know, to getting into a little, little bit more detail on the next slide, um, this is this is one of the reasons why the fact that you don't you don't have to write code. You know, this screenshot here is is of uh, MapReduce code written in Java. Very very complex stuff. You know, again, not that many developers around the world who know how to do this. Um, and on the right hand side, we got Pentaho, um, where 100% visual point and click interface, drag and drop, a very very familiar development paradigm. Any IT department that has a data integration tool. They can use Pentaho through this exact same data integration uh, development interface to now essentially develop for Hadoop or for a NoSQL database. So instead of handwriting all those map reduce transforms and so on, you do everything through, through this point and click interface. Moving to the next slide. Um, now, the other unique thing about Pentaho, as well as this, this visual development interface, and if I uh, click and build the slide here, um, is the ability to then take that, that transformation top, that map reduce top you build using our point and click interface, and then deploy that across the entire Hadoop cluster. So here I'm really focused on Hadoop as, as one of the dominant big data platforms. So the reason for this is the, the Pentaho uh, runtime engine is a Java based engine. And what we've done is we've, we've built that engine so it can be deployed automatically across Hadoop using a, a capability of Hadoop itself called the Hadoop distributed cache. So we deploy to the cache, Hadoop itself will then automatically replicate our runtime engine across every node of the cluster. And now, you know, you could have had that, that, that visual development job running across every node of a thousand node cluster, running in parallel. So massively uh, scalable and very, very high performance. And what we see, again, typically in the field is at least an order of magnitude um, plus performance improvement compared to handwritten code. And, and there's some reasons I can get into, you know, comparing uh, for example, handwritten page scripts, which, which get converted to multiple map reduce jobs typically, compared to Pentai running as a single map reduce job. But again, you know, typically we, we see at least an order of magnitude plus um, improvement in terms of both productivity as well as runtime performance. Uh, next slide. Um, this is a, a concrete example of one of our customers, just to kind of show you some of those statistics around the, uh, development productivity and runtime performance. Um, so. They hired two development, uh, two developers, Java developers from a, a leading systems integration firm. Uh, they spent about a month building two MapReduce jobs in Java, um, and the resulting jobs ran up, ran in about 14 minutes, so 13 minutes, 45 seconds. 
Uh, they weren't too happy with that, so they asked Pentel to come in. Uh, we sent in one, one uh, developer. He was not even a Java developer. He was a data integration or ETL developer. Uh, so half the resource, uh, it took them about a day and a half, let's call it two days. So that's uh, 15 times faster to build the exact same two jobs using our visual point of click interface. And then just out of the box, ran those two jobs, it ran in 47 seconds. So runtime is 17 times faster. And then the, uh, one of the interesting things is I noticed uh, there was a difference in the results. And I actually realized they'd actually made some coding errors in the, in the Java. You know, it's a much, much uh, easier to obviously make manual coding errors. Whereas when you're using a point and click visual interface, that's way, way less likely to happen. So just a dramatic difference, again, in terms of productivity uh, and runtime performance, as well as, well as potentially accuracy. All right, so um, mostly I've talked about the back end so far, you know, getting the data in. So I think the next slide here around visualization. So moving more to the front end. Um, and this is where I want to talk about a, a new capability we, we recently introduced called InstaView. Um, this is part of our 4.8 uh, release. And uh, InstaView is, is a really unique capability in terms of providing self service big data analytics. So very, very easy for, for business analysts and data analysts to use. Um, and this is unique in the ability to do uh, big data analytics against any big data store. So step number one here you'll see is a wizard, which will let you select any any uh, leading big data store, uh, whether that's Hadoop, so the Hadoop file system, whether it's Hive, whether it's MongoDB, uh, Cassandra, you know, any of those, those uh, leading big data stores. Um, and in addition, by the way, uh, InstaView can work with any data source supported by Pentile data integration. So dozens and dozens of different data sources from flat files to XML sources to web services. But, you know, for the purpose of, of today, I want to talk again mostly about big data. So you choose a big data source, you know, let's, let's call that Hadoop. Next, uh, next step number two, um, building the slide here is actually completely automated. And what we do is we look at that data source, we automatically generate an ETL job, we auto automatically model that data source, we figure out the dimensions and measures, and we, we then extract the data and we load the data into an in-memory cache. Now this can happen in a few seconds. Um, if, it's, if it's with Hadoop, you know, you are somewhat dependent on the latency of getting the data from Hadoop. Um, but the, the, the key here, the key mission is to get that data into in-memory. And once it's in-memory, you know, you've got very, very high performance, you've got speed of thought, access to, to millions or tens of millions of rows in memory. And then step number three in the building slide here is uh, where we drop you into Pentile uh, Analyzer, which is our, our dynamic visualization and exploration capability. So now you can start to slice and dice, visualize, show that data as geographic maps, show it as heat grids, data charts, you know, it's, it's some of the great visualizations which are built, built for visualizing large volumes of data. And then the ability to, <coughs> to slice and dice, drill down, you know, focus on certain areas. <clears throat> For example, like in Lasso around the data points and just I want to focus on those data points and then kind of drill down to the next level of detail. So this is a entire interview. Typical end to end process is anything from, from a minute or two uh, to maybe 30 minutes. You know, if you've got a lot of data sitting on your database, but once you've, once you've accessed that data from that point forward, it's uh, split second, you know, sub second response times uh, from that point forward. To, to analyze that data. So you're going from data which was sitting in a in the Hadoop file system or in Hive or in MongoDB or Cassandra. And again, you know, within a couple of minutes you can be visualizing and analyzing that data. So I know I've been through a lot, but just kind of the uh, just wanted to give you the, the fifty thousand foot overview of our, our big data capabilities for Pencaho. So going from left to right, you know, it's the entire stack. It's everything uh, from data ingestion and manipulation and integration through our integration tool, which is which is uh, built for big data, and then enterprise and ad hoc reporting, uh, data discovery and visualization, and then finally predictive analytics. So again, this is really relatively unique part of Pentaro, the fact that we have a very powerful predictive analytics capability built into our into our platform. So you can be looking at the past and using some very sophisticated clustering and regression. Um, and Bayesian uh, algorithms to, to be forecasting the future. And then on the bottom, and again, this is pretty unique to Pentaho, the fact that we work with Hadoop and, and every leading distribution of Hadoop out there, everything from Apache to some of the leading commercial vendors like Avera and Mapar and Hortonworks and so on, um, and, and Amazon if you want to run Hadoop in the cloud. 
and then building the slide, you know, the NoSQL databases. So the leading NoSQL databases being uh, MongoDB, uh, Cassandra, and HBase, and then again the, the commercial variants on top of that from DataStacks and from Tendrin. Um, and then uh, building the slide again, um, also the the high performance analytic databases. So these are relational technologies, you know, from companies like Teradata, Netezza, Vertica, Greenplum, and so on, uh, Victorize, and, and Infrabright as well. Um, but using um, you know high performance technologies to be able to handle very large or big data volumes you know, using either MPP, massively parallel techniques, or uh, column data store techniques, um, or in-memory techniques. So this is kind of the 50,000 foot view, you know, the fact that we can do that end-to-end -end business analytics against any of these big data platforms. Okay, so uh, moving to recent big data news uh, on the next slide. Um, We've had a lot going on recently. So just last month, as I mentioned earlier on, we, we announced uh, Pentai 4.8. Really two big parts to 4.8. The first one was our support um, uh, for the iPad. So full mobile capabilities, uh, native optimization for the iPad. Um, so very, very nice uh, capability for end users to, to access and interact with content on the iPad. And you'll see, you know, when you when you interact with the, uh, the product. In fact, you can go to demo.pentile.com. If you connect to it using an iPad device, we automatically know that, and you'll have the iPad optimized interface. So a uh, very, very nice interface for, for the iPad. And also uniquely, in fact, the ability to author content on the, on the iPad. Um, so if you want to create new reports, new analyses, you can also do that on the iPad. And really nobody else out there allows you to do that. You know, most of them are focused purely on consuming content. And then the, the second major part of uh, Pentile 4.8 was, was Pentile Institute. So I we went through that earlier on, but you know, that's obviously a big part of the release. Um, so that was 4.8 in November. Um, we also, uh, during the quarter, uh, did a major round of funding, venture funding, um, so $23 million of uh, C-Round funding led by NEA, and also with participation by Benchmark Index and, and DAG Ventures. And we're going to use this money to, to expand the company, to expand development and engineering services and, and sales and marketing, particularly for big data analytics. So you know, this is a major, major focus of the time moving forward. So we're going to make you know, great use of that funding to, uh, to uh, really continue to um, grow and, and uh, establish ourselves as, as the leading big data analytics vendor out there. And then moving to the next slide, you know, this is more of a kind of roundup looking at the, the whole year gone by in terms of announcements. So I won't go through all the details here, but just call out a few. Yeah, in particular, some of our, our uh, actually at the beginning of the year, the, the fact that we open sourced our, uh, our big data capabilities um, uh, into back in January. So all of our big data connectors in Pentile data integration are available in open source. Um, if you want support on those, and if you want uh, Pentile Institute, that is both part of our enterprise vision. Um, and then in February, we announced our partnership with Datastacks, who are the commercial company behind Cassandra. In March, with, with NAPAR, one of the, uh, the commercial Hadoop vendors. Um, in May, our partnership with Tengen. So when it comes to the NoSQL databases, you know, we're, we're, we're um, doing a lot of good stuff with Tengen, who are the uh, commercial company behind MongoDB. In June, uh, announced a major partnership with Dell. Uh, Dell are actually reselling uh, both Cloudera and Pantaho as part of their, their Dell um, Hadoop uh, solution. Uh, July announced a major partnership with Cloudera, um, and you know, within a lot of uh, we're working very very closely with Cloudera both on the sales and marketing as well as the engineering level uh, around um, Apache Hadoop and Cloudera's distribution of, of Apache Hadoop. Um, and then yeah, October was the, the funding, and uh, November was the, the 4.8 release. So a lot going on in, on in the year. You're going to see this continue you know, to 2013. So moving to the industry and market validation. Um, so on slide 17, you know, this is just a kind of visualization of, of how long Pentai has been involved in big data. We really were one of the very first movers when it came to big data analytics. Um, you can see Cloudera really started the movement back in 2008. Uh, we started pretty early in 2010. Uh, we were the first uh, main uh, analytics company to announce support for Hadoop, for example. And you can see, obviously, since then, you know, a ton of other companies are, are getting on the bandwagon. But you know, 
one of the reasons I point this out is we just have deeper and deeper experience and understanding of what it takes to do big data analytics uh, right. Um, I think that's validated somewhat by our ranking on uh, the 2012 um, Forrester Enterprise Compute Solutions Wave, where we were one of only two analytics vendors who actually made the cut. Um, and we were the only kind of full footprint analytics vendor that made the cut, and we were the only vendor to be ranked as a strong performer. So you can see that uh, outlined in red in, in the middle here. And all of, all of the other vendors you know, to the top right of us are actually big data platform uh, companies, you know, providing the actual Hadoop or, or whatever platform. Um, so you know, we were very pleased with our, our ranking on that and the fact that we were one of the only vendors that, that made the, the, the uh, criteria for the report. And then moving on to the next slide, um, here's a, an example of a few of our customers. You know, we have a, a lot of customers now using big data. Um, you know, we actually close more, more big data customers now every quarter than any of the other uh, two categories of customers I talked about earlier on. Um, but I won't go through all the details here, but just a few examples of people like Travel Tainment in the UK. They provide a travel reservation booking platform, uh, which they then, you know, essentially their customers are travel agents who, who, who use the Travel Tainment platform. And they use their base, they're using Hadoop and HBase on top of that. And so they're using Pentaho to, to ingest the, the data into Hadoop and HBase to process it and then do the analytics and visualization on top of the, uh, on top of that data setting in, in Hadoop and HBase so they can understand the performance of their, their reservation platform and their own customers can actually build their own reports and build their, do their own analyses against their, uh, their uh, travel reservation data. Um, another great example is, is BSTIM. In this case, this is more of a uh, relational example using HP Vertica. Um, BSTIM is a, is a high-end um, luxury uh, goods company. You know, they sell th through the internet. Um, and it's very much a kind of campaign, uh, internet campaign-based approach to selling. So they you know, you get emails, and they're using um, Pentai to analyze the performance of their sales and marketing campaigns you know, and also do web log. You know, click through analysis on the website. So really understanding, you know, again, the profile of the customers and what's working and what's not, so they can optimize um, their offers. We go on to the next slide. Um, in fact, this is really, really just to wrap up here. You know, again, just to reiterate a lot of the stuff I talked about, how entire is the fastest path to big data value. And again, just a reminder, you know, the reason for that, as, as I think I've demonstrated, is the, the fact that we have these very, very easy to use special development tools. They work against any big data platform. And really what it does is simplify that end-to-end -end process. A pretty complex process that it takes to do big data analytics is made a lot, lot easier. The fact that we do provide that complete platform from end-to-end -end for getting data in, for manipulating and transforming the data, making it ready for analysis, and then having great visualization and analysis on the front end. And the fact that we provide very, very fast performance, uh, especially when it comes to Hadoop, which is this very large, you know, batch oriented processing platform, the fact that we can actually run inside of the Hadoop platform is really, really unique. And that is, yeah, that's, that's really everything I'd like to say. So if you do want to find more about, find out more about Kentara and our big data capabilities, um, one of the best places to do that is visit us on the web at kentarabigdata.com. All right, so thanks very much. Well, well, thanks for that, Ian. A uh, uh, couple of questions. You know, I'm curious about your, your customers in, and where they are when you first engage them. Are, just to generalize, are your customers already using analytics and they're looking to do more production, or how would you characterize that? Um, yeah, it's it, it across the board. What we see is a lot of them um, have chosen a big data technology. You know, they're, they're experimenting with a Hadoop or with a NoSQL database like a MongoDB or a Cassandra. And they've done some early work to get the data in, but they really haven't thought about the, the back end, you know, how are they going to visualize and analyze that data? So that, that's usually when we get, they get to talk to us. You know, they're, they're looking for help uh, with that data management issue. Um, and that's where our visual development tools can really help them. But also they realize, you know, having the complete platform, we can help them visualize and analyze the data. Um, so yeah, that, that's usually when, when we get to talk to our, our customers, uh, you know, what, what become customers at that point. Sometimes they'll, they'll have an existing tool. It'll be one of the uh, existing traditional BI tools, but those tools just don't work with, with the deep and the NoSQL databases. So they're really just not an option for them. Or, or if they do work, it's very kind of clunky and painful. You know, you've got to be, for example, extracting data into a data lab or data warehouse, you know, using uh, traditional UTL tools, and then you can build your, you know, 
like your traditional report or your dashboard, and it's kind of a very old-fashioned kind of 1990 type approach to, to doing BI, really, really not contemporary for today. Yeah, and, and along those lines, Ian, how are they finding out about Pentaho? I mean, it seems like there's, there's a lot of companies that talk about analytics in the space, that, and you showed that on the slide. But are, are you meeting them yeah. at conferences and they're they're talking about their pain points or what what, what typically happens? Yeah, uh, it's at conferences. For example, we, we recently exhibited at the Strata conference in New York City. We'll be exhibiting at Strata in Santa Clara in, in February. So, yeah, we, we have a presence at uh, a lot of the main big data conferences. Um, but also, you know, we uh, brief the, the analysts and press, so we actually get a quite a bit of press coverage. Um, I think more, more press coverage than pretty much any other big data analyst company out there. And when it comes to analysts as well, you know, we're constantly briefing those. So I think we have a very good reputation with analysts as well. So, and they're obviously advising customers on which big data, which big data technologies to look at. And then, of course, it's you know, traditional methods like Google, you know, Google search, Google AdWords, and so on. It's what makes all people, when they search for terms like big data analytics, in fact, um, Penta is the number one ranked um, result when it comes to the term big data analytics. So, you know, we get our name out there. <laughs> I think we, we, we really, uh, people just naturally now think of uh, Pentaho when it comes to, to big data analytics. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, as one of the more mature uh, members of this eco ecosystem, Ian, I'm wondering, do you see companies making money out there on big data, or is it still in the hype cycle? You mean when it comes to vendors or, or customers? Yeah, and, and vendors. You know, we that's a good question because uh, I think there has been, been some skepticism around you know, people really making money and I would have said yeah, in 2012 that probably was somewhat true that people there was a lot of hype and not much revenue um, but what we've seen in, in I'm sorry I meant in 2011 but we've seen a big, a big switch in 2012 where that's really started to turn into revenue and we've been uh, growing at, at I see hundreds of percent each quarter you know, compared to the previous year like two, three hundred percent in terms of revenue growth on big data so for us, it's now representing uh, a significant por portion of our business and, and growing, um, particularly when it comes to new business. You know, and an ever-increasing part of our new business is uh, big data revenue. So yeah, this is re real money. Um, particularly, well, you know, for, for Penta, I can say at least for Penta. <laughs> I'm not sure about other things out there, but some yeah. for us. Yeah. Well, I guess a, kind of a wrap-up question here, Ian. I mean, how hard is it to kick the tires and, and try Pentaho out? if you're a potential customer out there. Yeah, super, super easy. Just go to pentile.com or pentilebigdata.com and click on the, the download link. Um, you can download a full 30-day you know, eval. It contains all of our big data connectivity, uh, all of our big data functions. Um, you can also actually even easier than that, you go to our online demo. You go, again, go to either of those websites and you can go to the hosted online demo or just go directly to demo.pentile.com. And we have a full demo. You can demo environment. You can you can you know, interact with and play with. Um, so yeah, super easy to get started. And if you sign up for the download, you know we'll contact you. We can kind of help you through if you want to do an evaluation. We can kind of we assign um, you know, engineers to help you through that process. So if you want to do an evaluation against your own data, you know, and so on, we can we can help you through that end to end process. Well, terrific. Well, Ian Fife, I want to thank you once again for coming on the show today. Thank you very welcome, and I'm very glad to be here. Thank you very much. You bet. Okay, folks, that's it for the Rich Report. Stay tuned for more news and information on the world of big data.